10 years ago today, people flipped on TVs around the world and saw the strangest thing happening in Colorado. You probably know what I'm talking about. A silver balloon floating through the sky with law enforcement concerned that a six year old boy was on board. Of course, we know now that balloon was empty. Boy was safely at home. His parents pulled a hoax trying to land a reality TV show. The whole thing was, in a word, unreal. They don't have one in the manual for this. 10 years ago, time flies. That's a balloon boy joke. Good time to remind folks that the video that they're watching obviously is skewed in perspective because of Sky right. 9 and the movements of the helicopter. Right. Mark Kobrick was out that day, uh, so they had some amateur on the anchor desk. And hopefully we'll have many more answers for folks. I remember Marty Coniglio sitting alongside us that day, and as a pilot, he brought some real expertise to it. And my estimation is, by based on what I saw upper air this morning, that it would in fact start to slow down the farther to the south that it goes and the, the farther to the east that it goes. I think everybody from the beginning was saying, this seems unbelievable. And even law enforcement was saying this seems unbelievable, but they had to start from a presumption that it could be happening, however unlikely. Do we know for sure if uh, Falcon is inside the basket right now? He is. It's easy in retrospect to look back and say, well, of course it was a hoax. All right, that would have been a really bold move if we in the media had said, ah, no, we, we think this is a joke and had just walked. Just turned off the cameras, turned the helicopter around, and walked. So just imagine the balloon boy hoax happening today at a time when fake news is wielded as a weapon and an insult. Turn back 10 years ago, and viewers at the time questioned the choices that we made, and that is totally fair game. Though I don't recall a lot of people celebrating that law enforcement and journalists got taken for a ride. We should always be treating claims with skepticism, and the bigger the claim, the bigger the skepticism. Law enforcement will tell you the same thing. But there's something else at play in situations like what happened with the balloon. First responders and journalists have another duty, a duty to inform the public quickly. Now, our jobs are very different than first responders. I'm not equating them. But our motivations do overlap on that one thing, and that motivation can lead journalists and law enforcement to chase some false leads. That doesn't mean we should stop chasing. 